A Walmart parking lot has turned into a deadly shooting scene. This is on North Garland Avenue near the George Bush Turnpike. That's where we find CBS 11's Jay Gormley live in our first five minutes. Jay? Well, the medical examiner just getting on scene about 15 minutes ago. That will certainly help identify the male victim in this shooting. But what's remarkable about this story is that the female victim was able to crawl out of the vehicle with a gunshot wound to her head. Garland police say a man and woman were sitting inside a black Infiniti sedan in the parking lot of Walmart. The man apparently shot the woman in the head. Police believe the man then turned the gun on himself and committed suicide. The woman then climbed out of the vehicle and then fell to the ground. Fortunately, a fire truck just happened to be passing through the parking lot. Firefighters were coming up here to the store to get some supplies for back at the fire station. When they were driving up, they saw the lady crouched down back behind the car, didn't know what was going on, thought maybe she was sick. The firefighter got out, came to check on her, saw that it was blood on the ground. In fact, she had had a gunshot wound to the head. That's when they called for an ambulance and a uh, police department. We responded. Ambulance got here and they transferred her to Parkland. Now back live at the Walmart, surveillance video may hold the key, but police are quick to point out that the shooting took place inside the vehicle. So even with surveillance tape, it's going to be hard to see what happened because the windows of that vehicle were very or tinted, very dark, so it's going to be very difficult to see inside. Now, as far as the condition of the woman, well, she is listed in serious but stable condition at Parkland and still no word on the relationship between the man and woman. Reporting live from Garland, Jay Gormley, CBS 11 News.